Okay, so. Alrighty, now that we got rid of those podcast fuckers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to F That Photo Chat, What's in Your Bag Edition. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> like, what's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> we, have a, we have the overhead camera. So anybody's... Everybody watching, they're like, what the fuck is yeah, she doing? <laughs> there's an overhead camera right there. Right out of frame. It's. So. I can't believe it's out of frame. Yeah. It's like literally it's, like an inch above your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. It's very weird. So we'll start off with my bag. I've got the Think Tank... What bag is this? <laughs> it is. It shouldn't it say? It's the think tank. Usually Hold there's on. a. I still have the registration card thingy. Is it on like the back? Sometimes it's on the yeah, back. Yeah, I think it's on the back, and I don't want to dump. Oh, here we go. Streetwalker V two point That's your main camera bag. Yes, I've you got. You really spent a lot of time looking for that. Yes. like the perfect one. I've got the bigger version of this, and like it's. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a bit just bigger. A bigger. And that's great for travel. This is my pretty much everyday bag. Yeah. So, we open this up. Oh, <laughs> wait. Do I have anything, Do you have anything here? in the pockets? No, just the straps for the... Uh... Just a strap on. Yeah, the strap on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I stick my tripods, my tripod legs in here. Oh. Like, the, you can stick it into the side. Mm -hmm. But I stick it in front here and just... Up yeah, up front. that's cool. And is there anything up in here? Oh, that's neat. There's like a whole compartment for... Yeah, I've got, well, it's all sorts of little compartments and everything. But yeah, I've got nothing in there right now. So is this like your, your like, I know, I just asked if this is your main bag. Is this your like final bag? Like this is the one that like seals the deal yeah. for you? That's yeah. good. This I love this bag. So, and I've got my GoPro nice. on the side here. That's a Big GoPro. What is that? This, well, this has the media mod on it. Oh, right? so what is that? The microphone. is that another eight? Yeah. You have two GoPro eights. Yeah. Wow, look at you, all fancy. I know, eh? That's fancy. Yeah. And it's got the little selfie stick. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's great for vlogging. That's fun, yeah. And so we'll just <laughs> throw that. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my mess of stuff. So we've got my Olympus 300 millimeter f4, and right now I've got the uh, Olympus 1.4 times teleconverter on. Oh, it that's right now. so small! Yeah. Oh yeah. Holy it's tiny. smokes! That's small. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Sue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this is the two times. Oh my God. That's so cute. Telly. Wow. The, yeah. That's not bad. And my other GoPro handle for that GoPro. And what else? I got my Olympus 40 to 150 2.8 Pro. Yeah. Oh, it's a Pro. Yeah. Now these are That's all small. these are all weather sealed. Yeah. And when I say weather sealed, like Niagara Falls, maybe the mist. <laughs> yep. No problem. Yeah. Like I get more concerned about myself <laughs> in the maybe the mist than I do with these guys. And then I've got my forty. No, sorry, my twelve to forty f two point eight pro. That's a nice one. Yeah. On my Olympus on the EM one. Mark three. Yeah. And full disclosure, this is actually Sue's camera because my camera is recording. Did you switch it again? No, I just switched the lenses. Oh, yeah. right. So how do we know whose is whose? Yeah. How do you know whose is whose? Sue. <laughs> yeah, I got a label on it. Sue. Mine says Chuck, obviously. <laughs> says like Bethany or something. Yeah. That's the most <laughs> random name I could come up with. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I got my Peak Design slide strap. Slide light. Yeah, my slide light. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I've got. You? Sorry. I've got the gray one. I've also got the black one. Yeah. So I've got two of the slide lights when I had two bodies. 
Yeah. Did you use that on your 6D Mark II before as well? Oh, yeah. Did you find, like, the weight distribution was comfortable, like, with it being that thin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was a lot better than the thick one. Titan's coming for a visit. We might get him in the overhead shot. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe just his tail. Hi, pupper. Hey. So, yeah. And then I've got my little Velcro pouch here. That's cool. And I've got some spare GoPro batteries, a couple of memory cards in there. Oh, I like that it Velcros to the side. Yeah. That's pretty so I can nice. Stick that wherever Did that I want. come with the bag or is No, that that, that came with um Oh god, what is that? Kata. The Kata is it Kata? <laughs> oh, that weird that one. Gray yeah. Kata bag? Yeah. It came with that. So That's kind of neat. Yeah. It's handy. And now, then, what is your Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so in this pouch up here, I've got a spare battery. Mm -hmm. Can we see it up there? Oh. Spare battery. Um, lens caps. <laughs> and, oh. The bag is so organized. My tripod plate. Tripod plate for my Man, Man Proto. <laughs> and then up top here, Another Manfrotto plate. I didn't know I had that many. Wow, are you rich? <laughs> Those are yeah. like 50. No, they're not 50. I think they're about 35 a piece. I've got... For normal people. <laughs> this little guy. Oh, that's cute. So, I use this. Let me hold up here. I feel like I'm called something. <laughs> so, what I'll do is have this thing on the camera. Um, Maybe. What the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> Why is this not? Eh? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. There we go. Okay. So I'll stick this on here. And I've got a tripod mount on my GoPro. I oh, put my GoPro on that's here. a good idea. So that way the GoPro is shooting down the lens, yeah. so I'm getting video of what I'm shooting. That's that's a good vlogs. idea. Yeah. I follow a photographer, a film photographer, who does that on the bottom. They attach it to the bottom of their like, uh, you know, those dual, um, dual lens film cameras. Yes. Yeah. He has one that attaches. He puts his GoPro on the bottom, so it, like perfectly, you can see what shot he's lining up, which is really cool. I like that. And then I've got my. That's one so terabyte cool. SanDisk hard drive. That's so SSD. cool. That's that's one terabyte. Like, it's so tiny. It's so small. Yeah. That's crazy. And it's like, oh yeah, never mind. I was gonna say it's good to carry around because it's like a rugged. Oh yeah. 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 It's got like a little keychain thing on it. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, and I also have a carabiner in here, somewhere. Uh, just for just for fun <laughs> yeah for giggles and for shits. shits and gigs yeah, yeah. <laughs> giggles and shits giggles and shits i'm gonna get me some giggles and shits <laughs> oh and there's this thing this thing oh those are helpful that's yeah. for the gopro right yeah so when i'm wearing the backpack and i've got the sternum strap across I can just clip this on. Oh, yeah. And it's shooting straight forward. That's cool. Yeah. Or I could clip neat. it onto whatever I need to clip it onto. Now, out of your bag, out of your lenses, because if I say what's, if, so what is your most used lens? I was going to say what's your most used item, but that's obviously probably your camera. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's your most used, what's the lens you use the most? I think it's a very even split. Yeah? Yeah. You, you, Spread your time out evenly to your yeah. <laughs> children. Yeah, because the wide angle I use for the landscapes. Yeah. Right? So that probably gets used the least. Yeah. But I would say 35%, 35%, and 30%. Okay. Right? So, <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, the 40 to 150, uh, I use that because it's 2.8. Yeah. It's better in low light. So yeah. when I'm getting the little birdies... 
up close. Like it's better to use that one because I'm usually deep in the forest, so it's a lot of shade and everything yeah. like that. So it helps with that. Yeah. And then the 300 f4 is for the more distance shots. So like herons on the water and stuff like that. When I'm in the kayak, a lot of times. Yeah. I'll get that distance so that way I don't have to get too close to them and scare them off. Um, do you have a favorite lens? Or sorry, not lens. Favorite piece of gear in the bag. I feel like we should exclude the camera. No, this isn't, excuse me, sir. Um, <laughs> Titans wanting pets. Um, what's your favorite piece of gear in the bag? If you could only pick one as your favorite, not one to use forever, just your favorite no, piece I, of gear. I, I love the GoPros. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite GoPro? <laughs> They're literally the same model. Yeah. You're like, you got to pick between your twins here. Yeah. Now, I also have a Gorilla Pod. The 3K oh, right. kit. Yeah. Um, but I hardly ever have that in my bag. Yeah. I'll have that in my big bag. Yeah. So when I'm traveling, I'll bring that along more. Yeah. But yeah, aside from that, that's it. And then you have all your studio stuff. Yeah. But that's well, not in your bag. <laughs> no. No. And I, I hardly have any studio stuff. Yeah. Like this is just random stuff I've collected over the years. Yeah. So, except for that light. <laughs> that's... <laughs> you didn't randomly collect that. No. <laughs> that, that was bought with such, a purpose. That is such a wicked light. It though. is. It oh really is a good light. It's the Godox ML60. Yeah. I recommended it to someone earlier this week who didn't listen to me at all. Um, <laughs> but that, it's it's such a bright light. And that softbox is beautiful. Oh, yeah. It, like, it. I don't know. It just distributes the, the light so nicely. Yeah. Alrighty. So, that's it for my camera bag. I have two. <laughs> you have two cameras. Yes, I'll explain though. Excuse me, sir. Please move. <laughs> okay, so I have two. I don't carry around two. This is my ugh, my main camera bag. How should yeah. I do it? How did you have it? This way. This way. You had yours this way, right? Yeah. So this is my. Fjall Raven Kankin. That's how I call it. You can Fjall Raven. Yes. It did have another patch here, which is why there's a little bit of glue, but it came off. Because <laughs> um, this has like a wax coating on it, so it's a little weird. <laughs> you sniffing the glue? Yeah. <laughs> um, in case anybody cares, I have a Led Zeppelin patch on the side. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I had to, so I thought, I, I don't like the normal look of camera bags. So I went with this, and this was the most expensive camera bag setup I've ever purchased um it's it's just a kankin bag um the thing that sucked about it though is i bought the bag first and then used like you know individual like inserts and stuff before i bought the insert for this and i had to buy these not not there's hair everywhere this is the most chaotic what's in your camera <laughs> bag thing ever so the base bag just comes with this as a strap okay. i walked around halifax for a week with this strap only, my D750, um, with a 24 to 120, my 50 okay. mil, and a, cam a film camera. It was like seven, six, seven pounds of gear in there with this only. By the end of the week, I had bruises on my armpits, so I oh, invested yeah. in these. And then I also invested in the camera insert, um, which is why it looks like a space suit here. It's very square. That's what your dad calls it. <laughs> yes, right? my dad calls it a space suit. So I think. It doesn't even unzip all the way? No, nope. It's great. I love it. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this bag. Is it still recording? Right. Yes. Okay. Um, to open it up, this is why it's a spacesuit, because it's literally just a square insert that goes inside the bag. I guess I'll start with the front. Okay. And here I have chaos. Um, I have... <laughs> I think it's recording. There's a little red light flashing on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's recording. Okay. Um, I have a film canister with SD cards that I no longer use. Um, cause I'm XQD. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. Um, but I don't have the heart to get rid of them. So I kept them in there cause it's very handy. Yeah. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna, oh God, I can't show what else. <laughs> First of all, I'll go through, I have caps. Oh, she's and... got condoms in there. I bet. That's the other, the, the thing that came off. Oh, okay. But we're already outed. Okay. <laughs> it was right there. Oh, okay. Um, it came off. So I have to reattach it. I have some business cards. It's absolute chaos. Um, just some garbage, some cleaning wipes. This is why I didn't want to show you. 
have a can you have a can in the lanyard um because i had a friend i had a friend hold on hold on no. hold on, hold on. This is, don't this come is, for me here we go Casey. no i don't know which way it's stop. supposed to go this way this way here we go um cannon stop I had a friend, I have a couple of friends who shoot cannon, and I tried to mail her this lanyard, and it came back in the mail. It came back in the mail, so I kept it in there in case I went she to She sent it back? No. <laughs> she shoots a cannon. I wanted to give it to her, but it got sent back because the mail was too thick. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, this is another joke. <laughs> Sony Alpha Pen. Um, okay. These are for my friends and stuff, little gifts. Um, so that pretty much is just for, like, everything small. That I carry around with me on a daily basis. I only have one CF card now, so I don't really need a case for it. Yeah. Um, anyways, then we get into here and we have to. God damn it. <laughs> Yours is so nice and professional. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> um, so this is the bag I use like when I'm going out and shooting and I have more like more than my camera to bring around. So yeah. this is like my main one. I normally don't do this up. I normally just do this one up because it's okay. a pain in the ass. And it's normally a lot more organized. God damn it! <laughs> so normally a lot more organized than this. So um, I usually keep I'll my. Hold this down for thank you. you. I usually keep it all organized and tucked in like this. Oh, um, you've got the thick one. Yes. Okay. So this is what I had for my 750. I, I like the way the weight distributes in this one a lot better. Okay. I found I got to pinch my neck. Really? Yeah, using the, the big one. I didn't like the thin one because I felt well when I had the 750, it was like. Um, I don't know. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't like the way it distributed the weight. Okay. Um, so I went with this one, got a Peak Design slide full size, um, in gray. And this bag was an absolute nightmare. Sorry, that was like a half burp and half talk. Um, <laughs> this bag was an absolute nightmare when I had my 750. Yeah. Cause it was, this is like, the Z6 is nice and short. So I can put it in and this will close. The 750 was taller, so the bag was literally like dome. Yeah, falls out. Yeah. So I have my Nikon Z6 here, Mark 1. My card slot is empty because that's the kind of chaos I live with. <laughs> I have an FTZ adapter here. Um, couldn't live without that. And then my child here. Yes. A beautiful Sigma 51.4. This is my most used lens. Um, got a filter on there. No cap because I live on the edge. <laughs> it's organized. This is organized a little differently because when I was leaving, I threw everything that wasn't in the camera bag in. So normally, I I also have my uh, fuck. This is so. I have my twenty four to seventy f four. Oh, the kit um, lens. Yeah. Yeah, nice. the kit lens. It's, How is that lens? It's it's a good lens. Yeah. Um, I don't really use it that much. Okay. Um. I only have two lenses now, so before I had like four because I used a lot of like D-series lenses which yeah. with the aperture rings and it doesn't work on this guy um, for autofocus, so that kind of sucks. So this is like my least used lens. I have a love-hate relationship with it as well. Okay. Um, I use my 24 to 120 a lot more, which was kind of the big deciding factor if I was going to go to this one or if I was going to keep my 24 to 120 and keep it on here, but this is so small. Yeah. And before I got... Like, right after I ordered my Z6, I had actually done, like, a side-by-side -side comparison of the same subject, like, in-depth of the 24 to 70 2.8 and the f4. I'd love the 2.8, but it's actually really similar to the 2.8, other than the fact that it's f4. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of interesting. I have some caps, an extra battery. Um, that's another cap. And normally I keep my battery charger here. Okay. Um, this bag kind of came chaotically, um, just the way it lives right now, um, because it didn't come pre-assembled. Okay. So I had to, like, come up with this on my right. own <laughs> for how I had stuff. Um, I have a polarizing filter in here, which I'm not going to take out because it takes too long. I have a step up 72 to 77, so I can use it on this. Yeah. Um, and That's normally I keep... Ooh, Normally, I keep my flash up here, okay. which is why it's shaped like that. It usually fits pretty well, and then I'll just shove this anywhere. Oh, that's the... what's? It's a Magmod. Magmod, yeah. So there's hair all over it. Dog hair, Vanessa hair, Chuck hair. <laughs> 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 I 
Um, so the flash I use is an SB700. I've had this flash since college. Okay. It is like a beast of a flash. Um, this, this, they've been making this flash for like a long ass time. Yeah. Um, and it's really good. So I really like it. Haven't had any issues with it. That's a piece of tape from when I was in school because we all had the same gear. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Um, and then this weird thing on top is the Magmod. So the Magmod is like my favorite light diffuser. I actually didn't know about them until I started working where we work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it, I remember before this, it was like the Gary Thong. Yes. Which is like a really hard plastic sphere. Yeah. Um, which was cool, but it was, it's really nice for your lighting for wedding photography and on location stuff. Um, but I ended up getting this because I could literally like cram it in the corner somewhere yeah. and it like magnetizes so to put on. Yeah. and they have other accessories too. So they have like a bounce one that I would probably get if I had more weddings. They have a gel set, a grid set, and they all go on that, that way. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's then, a genius the way they did that. Yeah, it's great. And and the light, the way it light diffuses its light is beautiful. Um, normally I have this here and then down here I put my film camera in here um, when I'm on the go. But I actually brought all my film stuff too. Um, <laughs> so, so very quickly, leave that flash out. Okay. See if oh, we're closing. Ah! Where yeah. did I put it? There it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the Olympus flash. This is a beast of a flash. It's huge. And what's nice about this thing is it does do the... That's kind of nice. What's the... It, is it super, super bright? And it flips around and everything. Like, it does the wow. whole thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I never bring it with me because I don't use a flash for wildlife photography. Yeah. So. Yeah, I bring this whenever I go, like, home or on, like, a road trip. Or if I actually have a shoot, I'll bring this as a backup just because... Yeah, I like this. If if I'm like doing a commercial shoot, like I had a commercial shoot in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and I was depending on, uh, like natural light, but just in case there isn't, this like can easily mimic it if I bounce it or like, yeah, tilt it a certain way. So that's normally where that goes. That's what's in my main bag right now. There's spots for stuff up here, but I don't really use it. So I didn't get a discount on any of this because it's not sold at our store. Right. Um. So the bag itself. Is a hundred dollars okay the insert is 150 and then the padded straps on the back are 25 or 30. okay so it was so kind about, of it's about the same price as my bag yeah but it's not as good um <laughs> so that's that this is normally what i carry my stuff in and then i'll quickly go through the other one and this bag is going to be quick i don't you this is a really cute little bag i a customer dropped it off and i couldn't not take it i'm oh, trying to face it for the camera because it says nikon yes and the colors are like i love the colors of this yeah. bag oh, yeah. these are like my colors um in the summer <laughs> in the winter all i wear is black um yeah so i don't know if i should just leave it like this so i don't really bring this bag anywhere um just because i don't like carrying around bags like this yeah. i've done that for way too long and it was a huge pain in the ass so this pain is just my shoulder yes <laughs> This is just my film storage um, bag, so a little unorganized as well. We're not gonna. <laughs> oh no! You know my phone number and my name. I'm gonna get weird calls. Um, yeah, so this is my film camera. It is a Nikon F. Um, I believe it's a 1964. Um, I bought it off Steve. Okay. Um, he gave me a wicked deal on it, and it's actually it has a replace. It has the detachable prism here. Oh, cool. Um, which this is the only prism I have, so I don't really know how to take it off. <laughs> He's shown me before. <laughs> so I really like this one. It's really nice. It. This is my strap. I really oh. like it. I have a lot of vintage straps like this, but this one's my favorite. I just I haven't seen one with colors like this before. Yeah. Um, I have, I currently have a 51.4 on there. <laughs> Notice a pattern. Yeah. Um, 51.4 in there. Right now I have a roll of XP2 in there. Um, and... I'll get to the exciting part about this in a sec. Um, I have some hoods. I have another. So I got all these lenses from Steve as well. This is a. Uh, I don't shoot with this one. <laughs> 135 uh, 
Oh, wow. So it's pretty nice. It'd be really nice yeah. for like macro stuff, um, which I actually got from customer Simon. Yeah. Um, he gave me like a macro piece here for the Nikon for uh, whatever size, that size. So you put it on. It's a close up. Number four. Oh, it's a magnif it just magnifies it. Yeah. Nice. So it's pretty nice for like really up close stuff. Yeah. He just gave that to me, which was kind of nice. Not kind of, it was very nice. <laughs> um, got some more lens hoods. This is the coolest case ever. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, Steve, Steve gave me all of this. There's just more hoods in there. So it literally screws off, but it's like the coolest display case and it's been scratched up from me because, you yeah. know, yep. But it's so cool. And if I, when I actually have like a decent display, like it screws right in there. This is a 20, this is a wide angle. What is this? Uh, 28, 3.5. Um, so this one's fun. That's a nice wide angle. Yeah. yeah. And it just, the only one that doesn't fit in this case is the 135. Yeah. But when I actually, oh my God. <laughs> I can't get it down. Jesus. This is, this is how I put it on. <laughs> the look of judgment on your face right now. Oh my God. Okay. We're just going to put that in there. Um, so that's that. I have nothing in that pouch. And normally I have like an abundance of film. This is some expired film. No film in there. I normally have like, sometimes I'll keep all my film in here, but okay. uh, I have a shelf at home where I have like, I think like 15 rolls of film right now okay. to use. I just got, I, I stocked up on Fuji Pro 400. Yep. Got like three or four rolls of that. Got three more... Kodak Triaxes, all that fun stuff. Anyways, so that's that. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can show you the cool part. Um, I just got this. This is what I've been talking about. Um, because this camera is old, <laughs> doesn't have a light meter built right. in. Um, my old one did, so oh, I don't have yes. a decent light meter. And a lot of light meters are like fucking massive. Yeah. Like they're they're a pain in the ass. Um, I did some research, and this is just a Nikon remote case that I stole from work. Okay. Um, but I got this really cool light meter by a company called Reveni Labs. Okay. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it's so small. It's like literally a little bit bigger than my thumb. And that's the light meter. And you turn it on. It has a tiny little, tiny little interface. Oh, my God. So it changes. It does shutter priority and uh, aperture priority. And it doesn't change this right away, but when you hold this down, you can see the exposure value changing. So it's pretty quick. I haven't cool. run a roll of film on it yet because I just got it. Put it right to the, the light. Oh, <laughs> I was like... <laughs> so usually if, like for example, it doesn't change when I put it down here to there. So I'll just push that to, ch to have it recalculate. Okay. So with the light, it says we're, if we're shooting at 5.6, it wants me to do 250. Nice. So it's, it's really cool and you can run calibrating on it. You can do a whole bunch of different stuff, but is it like a laser sight or something or? Yeah, I think it's, I don't, it's not a spot meter. It's yeah. It's just like that little piece there. Yeah. It's 3d printed. Um, so I'm not sure if you like, if you feel it, it feels 3d printed, but it's like made of yeah. much sturdier material than like your typical 3d printing. And it only takes an LR44 battery Cool. and it turns off on its own. So I was pretty excited about that. Uh, of course, it has like a little shoe mount, so most people can just slide it on the front, yeah. which is kind of nice. And then I couldn't remember when I was ordering this if I had one on the top. Uh, th the company makes like little 3D printed accessories too. So for like, they don't really have anything for this. They also sell these things, but I got this one from work. Okay. Um, for like 90 cents. Um, <laughs> I was gonna do like a little shoe on the bottom, Okay. But it was a little awkward because it stuck out like a lot and it yeah. was also upside down. And I was like, it wouldn't go on properly. And I'm like, screw this. I'm just going to. You mean unscrew this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've just put it on here and put, found a little case for it. So yeah. it's a little protective. He does also make like a hard case. Okay. Um, so my setups like with this is not all from Reveni Labs, but he sells like everything. He has like side mounts for people with roller flexes and everything. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I'm really excited to use cool. this. So. Yeah, and you just got that the other day, right? Yeah, Yesterday I just got it uh, like two days ago. Okay. Um, 
very excited to use it. But I know, I know there's a lot of people who have done reviews on it. I was like reviewing it like crazy before I bought it. Yeah. And then I actually reached out to the company. Um, and I got a response from the person who made this himself. Like the oh, person cool. who owns the company. It's really cool. Nice. Yeah. Super nice guy. So if you guys are looking for a small meter, he makes these. He He's coming out with a, or I think he's already come out with a spot meter. Okay. Which is really cool too. But for any film people out there who want a light meter that's not like the size of a fucking phone or just using your phone. Yeah. It was only like uh 125 Okay, so, so we should put the bad. link in the description then. Yes, You'll yeah, have we to will. Send me the link. Definitely will. He has, they have an Instagram as well. Okay. So yeah. There you go, free advertising for you, buddy. Yes, this was not sponsored. I'm just really excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it for my what's in your bag. Alrighty, so that's it for the what's in your camera bag edition of F that. Photo chat. <laughs> Toodaloo. Motherfucker.